So this is my first tutorial series on Laravel, and I thought what we could do in this series is make a register and login system. And the reason why I want to do that is um, it's a way for us to get familiar with um, different parts of the framework. So when we're making a register and login system, we're going to be storing things to the database, we're going to be retrieving things from the database, we're going to be authenticating users, we're going to be creating sessions. So um, it's going to be a good way to just uh, get our hands dirty uh, with this framework. Um, before I get started on teaching that, um, one thing that I want to let you know is um, Laravel uses the Blade templating engine in its views. Um, so we can see uh, this is the Blade page on Laravel's documentation. And um, we can just take a look at an example here. So you'll see right here inside, um, this, is a, this is a view in Laravel. And you can see we have um, some Blade code in here. So basically all Blade is, is it's just PHP. Um, it's uh, PHP pseudo variables. And you can see it just looks a little bit different. Um, it looks a little bit cleaner. So here we're extending our master page. Um, so this home.blade.php we're looking at right now, um, it's kind of like a child view of the master page. And you can see title here inside these double curly braces. So all we're doing here right now is we're just echoing out title, um, but we're doing it in the blade way. So the good thing about this is it's going to look a lot cleaner than if we were using, um, you know, PHP, using an echo right here and a semicolon at the end. And also, um, because it's so different from, you know, regular PHP, um, we're going to be less tempted to put logic into our views, um, which is what we don't want to do. We want our views uh, only for presentation. We don't want them doing logic. We don't want them, you know, doing a lot of things like looping and stuff like that. Um, what we really want our views to do is just be the presentation layer for our application. And we are going to pass data um, to the view uh, through our controller. And then our view is just going to, you know, get this data and it's just going to present it. So um, you're looking at a bit of blade code right here. But um, once you just do a fresh install of Laravel, um, the blade syntax highlighting is not going to look like this. So we need to install a plugin for um, Sublime Text 2 in order to get this uh, blade highlighting here. So out of the box, um, what this is going to look like is I just go to syntax here. And you can see right now I've highlighted uh, PHP Laravel blade. But just out of the box, it's just going to be PHP and it's going to be all white. So um, I'm just going to put that back right here. And I'm going to show you um, how you can get uh, the blade highlighting um, inside your Sublime Text 2. So um, it's really easy to do with Sublime Text 2. Um, you can just uh, Google Blade Syntax Highlighting here, and you're going to see a link uh, to this media link slash Laravel Blade. And the first thing that we need to do is you need to install Sublime Package Control um, on your Sublime Text 2 if you don't have that already. Um, this is really easy to do. Just open this up in a new window here, and then click the Install button right here. And then you're going to get uh, this you know, bit of code right here. Um, just copy all of this. And then you'll go into your Sublime Text 2. And you'll push um, the Control tilde. So the tilde is um, just below the Escape button. So Control tilde. And that's going to open up um, this console right here. And then you're just going to paste that in there. And hit Enter. And I've just hit Enter right here. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. I already have it installed. Now I just installed it again. And then it asks you to restart Sublime Text 2. So you're going to restart um, Sublime Text 2 at that point. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come back to um, the original page, the media link. And then all you have to do is you need to search for Laravel Blade right here. So we're going to copy this right here. And then we're going to go back into our um, Sublime, Sublime Text 2. And then just go into preferences here and then package control. And then what you're going to do inside here is just type install and hit enter. Okay, so that is going to, it's loading the repositories right now. And once that comes up, you're just going to type Laravel Blade into here. Um, in my case, nothing is showing because I've already installed it. So when that comes up, hit enter. Um, you'll, you'll have that installed. You'll get a confirmation in the bottom left here. And then um, you can go over to your blade views. Um, if they're already open, just close them and open them again. 
Um, if it's still not highlighting, you can go into um, view here and then syntax and then make sure you see um, you make sure you see Laravel blade right there. Um, if you don't see that, um, probably just restart Sublime Text again and you'll definitely see it there and then just enable um, Laravel's uh, blade syntax highlighting.